There are few places on earth more saturated with saltwater crocodiles than the Mary River in Australia's top end. And there are few people more at home in the predator's domain than Mick Pittman. His job is to hunt and kill the crocodiles that attack livestock on a cattle station 100 kilometres southeast of Darwin. We're not out here just slaughtering animals, we're out here taking, taking animals that are actually taking uh, livestock and causing threats to humans and dogs as well. And the station's manager, Adrian Phillips, counts the cost. The fatality is astronomical, you know, one paddock from October through to about Christmas, I reckon I lost 50 grand in the array, just in cattle. And... Trying to protect every one of the cattle on this 30,000 hectare station is almost impossible. There's one heifer in the yard just there, you can see she's had half her nose torn off yeah. and it's just pulled all the skin off her head, twisted her nose, totally stuffed her up. She's the lucky one, real lucky one. <laughs> But a crocodile much larger than the one that attacked the heifer is terrorising the station. So if he's over 5'5", five five, which we're banking he, he will be looking at him, he'll be a world record. Mick won't stop until the monster croc is caught. This guy, he's at the point in, in his life where he don't like anybody. Like he was killing two cattle every fortnight here in this billabong. And the thing is, he couldn't eat two cattle in a fortnight. He's just on a rampage. The problem there is where he is, is where we've got to try and pump water so our cattle don't drink there, but we can't go and pump the water because he'll come up and try to chew your ass when you start the pump. All right, he's, be careful if he's still a very big one. Crocodile Mick takes us into the Crocs territory where he's set a trap. I never got him, but... Oh yeah, the door's down. Looks like we've got one. It's not a very happy chappy either. But it's not the big one. How big is this one? Probably three and a half. I dare say the greenies will be happy because he'll be going back, this fella. We can't take him. He's not the one causing the problems. The five and a half metre croc thereafter could be lurking just metres away. That damage wasn't there yesterday, so he's so here in the water. I'd be very careful when you're up near that end. Releasing a captured crocodile is also risky. The predators are unpredictable. Nick and his crew aren't taking any chances. Righto, let's go. And there he goes. Yeah, he didn't turn back on us. That's very good. Not all of Mick's hunting techniques are conventional. He mimics the sound of a young croc in distress to attract larger crocodiles. And he trudges along mosquito-infested waterways when the reptiles are most active, armed with just a headlamp and a gun. Go pretty close to the water's edge. How easily could a crocodile launch out at us? Pretty easily. <laughs> It's an adventure Mick wants to share. He plans to take customers along for the hunt. Hang on, there's a croc there behind that, I think. The slightest movement in the bush and it makes you jump about six foot high sometimes. So, you know, it's pretty intense. I'll be able to pass some of this adrenaline rush on to some customers and, and they'll go away with a big grin on their face and then the experience they'll never forget. In the years since crocodiles became protected in the 1970s, successive Northern Territory governments have tried and failed in their plans to legalise crocodile safari hunting. Mick's venture won't breach the ban. He says his customers aren't allowed to kill the animal and must also be professional hunters. He'd charge $12,000 for a four-day trip. And the customers can walk away with something to remember it by. 
Mick describes himself as one of the only croc hunters in Australia who kills and preserves the predators. This size, they're good to be able to uh, turn into a taxidermy mount. Um, and then I do a thing called a flat pack, which I split him up the belly and he lays flat on the ground with his head still attached. This crocodile was attacking cattle from a dam on the station. These animals are very hardy, very robust, and if you don't kill them the first time, you don't know until they wake up, and then it's too late. <laughs> but he's uh, humanely killed. That second shot's into him before he even wakes up. How can you ensure that the hunters aren't going to be shooting the animals? We actually film the kill shot of these animals, and we date it and we GPS it. So there's no way in the world somebody else can come in and actually shoot the animal. Mick's been in the game for close to four decades, not always on the right side of the law. I was once described as uh, Australia's most notorious poacher because the government couldn't catch me. Well, they offered me an amnesty in 1996, so I've been out and legal longer than what I was illegal. But there was some fun in that 16 years, I can tell you now. At 57, Mick is nearing retirement age, but the hunter won't hang up his knives until he catches a world record croc. Lurking somewhere in this wild river. A challenge only one of Australia's best crocodile hunters is up to.